Hi friends, it's Julia. I'm here to share a layout that I created uh, with my Christmas stash kit from 2016. Um, I had gone through and pulled a sketch from Scrapbook Generations, one of their ebooks that I had just recently downloaded. It was a Christmas ebook, and one of the sketches called for all these punched out circles. And I originally wasn't going to do this, and then I decided, yes, might as well. I had tons of scraps already with the kit because I had lots of scraps to begin with. And so I punched out tons of circles. And I think this is a one and three quarter inch circle punch that I used to cut these out. And I just went through and glued them all down. Once they were all glued, then I went through and um, took the pieces of paper that they were all glued to and glued those down. On the uh, background there, you'll see I have another sheet of another piece of the green paper at the top, and there's all of my embellishments, everything. I kind of pre-planned where I was going to put everything by the sketch to kind of save time going through, and I cut my photos down and all of that. But I don't stick with what all I have and where I'm going to use it. You can see over to the side on the right and then up to the left corner, I have some homemade flair that I created using some of those um, epoxy stickers that you can get from Michaels or, or I'm sorry, not from Michaels, from Recollections. I think you can order them from uh, several Etsy stores as well. I just picked these up at uh, Hobby Lobby. Um, originally, I was going to use that red and white stripe paper, the diagonal stripe paper there, and I, then I opted to change my mind, my prerogative, right? Um, and so I used some washi tape just to be able to get some more washi tape used up. I, I find that I am a hoarder of washi tape, especially my Christmas tape. I've had it for years and years and years, and you know you only use it for a short time every year, and so you tend to um, collect it for a very long time. So any opportunity I get to use it, I will. And there I'm adding that, just following the sketch and adding the um, same border piece there, you know, across the layout. So there's the base of my layout. I go ahead and I take the diagonal stripe and I place it across the top. Um, and I really like the look of that. I thought about putting it down on the green section at the top of the green section and changed my mind on that as well. Just thinking, do I want to add some additional washi tape or what? And so I'm laying my photos back out the way that they're going to go. And I'm going to go ahead and glue them all down. And I'm still following the sketch pretty much to the letter. Not 100%, but, but pretty close. All of my photos are in the same layout position. Maybe. I can't remember if it's 100% to the sketch or not. Um, I tend to do that a lot as well. If I see a um, layout that I like and I have different size photos or whatever, I make them fit. And there I'm just moving those, those photos down just a tiny bit because I felt like there wasn't enough of a space um, left there between the other two and I didn't want them sitting one right on top of the other I wanted a space left between them so because I butted up the ones on the right sheet all the way to the edge of the paper I'm going to move the others on the left sheet just a little tiny bit over so that it looks like it's the same spacing across there these photos always go into my Christmas albums and um, so I really like the cohesiveness of doing double page spreads in the Christmas album. I don't know why, I just do. I do single pages for some Christmas layouts as well, don't get me wrong. 
but I really love the cohesiveness of doing the double pages. So I opted to cut those down a little bit more. Um, and I think it doesn't show it as well in the photographs, but when you looked in through the back window into my car, you could see the packages still piled up. We were expecting a fairly significant snowstorm. Um, and I knew that three of my grandkids were not going to be here for Christmas. Um, and so we were delivering their Christmas presents to them. This was in 2015, Christmas of 2015. Um, and so before Christmas, like the week before, we loaded up my car with their gifts to take to them. And my back seat was full and the entire back end. And I have a fairly large car. It's a Highlander, so it's, got, it's quite spacey in the back. Um, so you can tell we do go a little overboard spoiling our grandkids, but hey, they're only little once. And, you know, if we can afford to go big at Christmas time, we go big at Christmas time. So there I pulled out one of the tags. It was part of a maybe a dollar spot or a Target. I don't remember it. it I don't remember where the tag came from. It says open on December 25th. And. So I just popped it up on some foam adhesive, added some twine, and put it there. And then I cut that um, metallic gold doily in half. And the original sketch showed that their whatever circle embellishment was there went up onto the photos to some degree. And so I felt like, oh, man. <laughs> I cut it in half and I shouldn't have cut it in half. I should have just cut the end of it off. So I checked to see if I had another doily in my stash and I did. And so I pulled one out and here I am putting it down there and you can see how much should be on the um, layout. And then I went through and cut that off. I used my razor knife, my X-Acto blade to cut that off. Um, I don't remember why I chose that over the scissors, but I did. And so I'm just cleaning that up a little bit. And we're getting oh, pretty close to the point where uh, the camera cut off and I didn't continue to film. We may be getting close, closer to done. The, the uh, layout is nearly done anyway because I had everything laid out. I had pre-cut those little banner strips out of scraps and they're all the same scraps as what's down in the bottom for the most part. Um, and they were all bits and pieces of scrap paper that I had in my kit. And I didn't want them to be right on top of that paper with a circle star so I... Um, lifted the banner up and put them up a little bit higher right next to the edge of the paper and then put the banner or the um, that border strip right back down on top of them. And those are two words that I'm going to use up in the top on top of those banner strips, um, but I'm going to pop them up on a little bit of foam tape. And I was initially going to put some twine through them and make them look like little bits of, of like little tags up there. And then I ended up changing my mind. Here we go. We're at the point where we're going to cut off and you'll see some still shots. Anyway, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching my video. And there's the completed shot with all the embellishments on. And you can check it out over at my blog as well. Um, I appreciate you sticking around and watching my video till the end, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for stopping by, guys.